Hello and welcome to another video of mine. In this video, I will be doing another anime theory. This time I will be focusing on the anime My Hero Academia and its society and its world. In the world of My Hero Academia, quirks or superpowers seem to have been around for a long time. When quirks first arrived, it seemed to be in modern time, like in real life today. But when you fast forward to the main story, the world seems to be exactly the same as when quirks first started popping up all over the world. So what I'll be doing in this theory video is trying to figure out if quirks have halted the advancement of society in the world of My Hero Academia. So let's get right to it. Yeah. So in this theory, the first thing we will be trying to figure out is how long have quirks been around. So how I went about to do this is that I'll be calculating the time of generations that have passed since the development of quirks. The way I did this is using the generations of holders of One For All. Since Deku is the ninth generation holder of One For All, we will count back eight generations since the first generation of One For All was around when quirks first started appearing, and this will give us how many years have passed since quirks have been around. According to the International Society of Genetic Genealogy, the average generation time span for males is 34.5 years, and for females it's 25.5 years a generation. So since the holders of One For All were both male and female through different times, we'll be averaging these numbers out. So I added 34.5 and 25.5 together, then I divided it by 2 to get an overall average generation time span of 30 years. So to see how long ago the first holder of One For All was around, I multiplied 30 times 8, 30 being the average generation time span and 8 being how many generations ago it was, and the total came out to 240. So the time of the first holder of One For All was around 240 years ago. This isn't a, an exact number, it's just an estimate or a hypothesis, so, so I would assume it's close to around 240 years. Now keep in mind the 240 year time difference from the beginning of Quirks to the modern story of My Hero Academia. I'll give three examples that show that society has not advanced at all. When the story of My Hero Academia first starts out, it shows that the first baby with a cork was born in a modern hospital in Keke City, China. Then we fast forward to the main story. We see Deku every time he gets injured is sent to a modern hospital in Japan. So there has been no advancement in hospitals or building structure since quirks have been developed into the human society. Now onto my second example. At the time of the first user of One For All, when he got his powers, it showed the city that he was in. And when you compare that city to the city of Deku around his time, there really is no visual change from the people and environment of the city. And for the last example, even inequality still exists in this world, as shown with Deku not having a quirk where he got bullied by Bakugo, and from the time Quirks started, there was an old man in the manga that was getting harassed since he didn't have any quirk or power. With these three examples, it can be suggested that there has been no advancement with the society of My Hero Academia within the 240 year time period since Quirks started. In one of the latest chapters of My Hero Academia, it said the world went down a crazy path when Quirks were first being introduced in society and One For All would help settle the chaos and put the world on a balanced path. Even though One For All might have put the world on a balanced path of heroes and villains, it could have halted society because they are trying to figure out how to handle quirks over this time span. It seems all advancement in society has gone into controlling quirks, such as schools, training bases, and gears for heroes, but nothing else. When it comes to society, it seems that quirks have halted its advancement and taking all the attention of everyone to only focus on the quirks and nothing else. Well, that was another video of mine, and that was my theory for today. To go over it all one more time, since the development of quirks around 240 years ago, there has been no advancement of society since then, and society seems to only focus on quirks in the My Hero Academia world. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video I make. See ya. Yeah. Are we going?